dear friends here i am once again sharing all what i have learned over the years on this very popular topic stress management stress is unfortunately an unavoidable fact of life and since coronavirus has become a part of our everyday life you may feel more stressed than ever before but the question is can you actually get sick from stress the short answer is yes stress can contribute to many health issues in fact almost 99% of the health conditions we are facing in the world today have stress as one of the most important causes this course is the first one of the four part series on stress management courses the first one is how is stress making you sick the second one is practical tips on managing stress the third one is learn how to use the power of nutrition exercise and sleep in managing stress and the fourth one is learn how to manage stress using nutritional and herbal supplements you must have heard this at your doctor's office don't worry it's just stress calm down and take it easy so if you feel like life isn't turning out how you had dreamed and stress is overwhelming your work life balance then you're not alone more and more people these days are struggling in life in some way or the other you see we live in a fast paced culture and our lives can be filled with daily stressors in fact being busy has become a status symbol and it's almost impossible to be stress free in today's world so it's quite clear that being busy all the time is detrimental to our long term physical and mental health therefore regaining control over our stress and then modulating the stress response is crucial luckily there's a lot we can do so if you are experiencing stress in your lives regardless of the cause or its intensity this course is for you This course has got four parts. In part 1, we'll talk about what exactly is stress, what's the definition of stress, and how we can identify a person going through a lot of stress in life. What exactly are the signs of a stressed out individual? Part 2 is all about cortisol. What exactly is cortisol? And is there a normal cortisol rhythm in the body? In part 3, we'll learn about the physiology of stress. We'll talk about the HPA axis, which is the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, and we'll also learn about the SAM axis, which is the sympathetic adreno medullar axis. In this one, you'll come to know of the various steps involved in a stress response. Part 4 is all about the connection between stress and disease. In this part, we'll see how stress could be one of the major factors leading you towards weight gain and further towards diabetes. We will discuss about stress and its impact on gut health, heart health, mental health, sexual health, and even immunity. We'll also talk about how stress leads to fatigue and insomnia. Through this course it's my mission to educate you on how knowingly or unknowingly you could be developing chronic health conditions due to chronically being in a state of stress If you are new to Ayurveda or holistic nutrition I would highly recommend that you check out our other self-paced online courses For more details please visit our website myholistickitchen.com See you soon. Namaste.